This is how to automate website traffic and get website clicks for free instantly anytime you want them. Welcome to ProfitCopilot.com. My name is Mick Meany and if you are struggling to get website traffic and get website clicks, you're absolutely in the right place because, well, in addition to today's tutorial, I also want to give you my ultimate traffic formula when you click the link in the description. Okay, so back to today. So I'm going to show you how to use free software that will automate traffic generation. Today, we're going to return to using RSS feeds. Now, if you're unfamiliar with RSS, I do have another tutorial that explains how you can create them and then use them to get website traffic. I'll put a card somewhere on this tutorial for you. So go ahead, watch that, then come back once you're ready, once you, once you know how to use RSS feeds. Okay, so if you are ready to continue, then go back down to the description because I've got some free software that I want to share with you. Go ahead and click that and then we'll make a start. It's going to ask you to upgrade to a premium version. Now, this is going to give you a limited number of feeds to use. In my opinion, it's enough to get you up and running and to get you some results before for you start paying for anything. And of course, if you get some good results with this, then it might be worth considering upgrading. But just like everything else, we, we don't take a chance with things, especially if we're spending money on something, we need to know that it's going to produce results. So once you've signed into your account, you need to head over to feeds box. This is where your RSS feeds will live. So if you click on feeds box, you're going to have a couple of options here. Next, you want to click on add content. You've got a few options here, but go down to import feeds. So this is going to allow you to insert your RSS feeds. So there you can see I've added mine. I'm going to click add feed. Now it's going to pull in all the content from my website. So here you can see that it's added this to the accounts area. And if we want to take a preview of how the feeds look, click on this eye icon, it will preview the feeds for you. And there you go. So now you can, now you can see that it's pulled in the feeds. So once we've got that set up, go back to your account. And next we will go to posting campaigns. So click on that. And here we have a drop down menu that will allow us to select lots of different social media platforms. So if you want to get instant traffic from Facebook, it will have a campaign for that. Or if you want Blogger, LinkedIn, Instagram, you name it, it's listed here. So let's say if we want to, to run a Facebook campaign, there we go. So go to the content section here and choose from feeds box, the feeds box that we just set up previously. Select that. We want to check this, check this feed that we've just pulled in and then click add and close. Then you'll authenticate your Facebook account and you can click on advanced settings and it will allow you to add some filters to this. So why would you want to do this? Well, Let's say you are targeting a specific series of hashtags, then you can add them here. So if you're only if you are only targeting hashtags that you know will pull in traffic that will hit your target audience and then pull traffic to your website, you you want to add that filter here. Then load up your hashtags here and choose a random number. So how many it's going to add per post. Now you can also add custom text to posts. This is fantastic if you are trying to drive traffic to an offer page, a sales page, um, a squeeze page, something where you want people to take action. So you can add your call to action here. For this to work, you need to post the naked URL, the actual URL, URL structure. So HTML will be rejected from this section. So just paste the naked URL. 
you can append post links. So that's good if you're majorly concerned with, with tracking via Google Analytics. Okay, this bit here is very interesting, posting frequency. So you can set this for 24 hours, once every two days, once every three days, four days, five days, once a week, or once a fortnight. Now, I think once a day is fine. That's probably going to be about right for most people if you are adding content on a regular basis. But check this out. If we go to advanced settings, here we can run a campaign. So if you're running an onboarding sequence or you're building up for a webinar or you have some event in the works, then you can run a campaign to promote that. So you can schedule it to start and stop at specific time periods according to your needs. So that's how to set up one of these auto posting campaigns. But let me show you something really interesting. And this is where you're going to get the most traffic in my opinion. So we can set one up for all of these if we want to, but check this out. Integration campaign. If you click on that, check this out. Posting destination. We can go with Zapier. If that, then this We can go with Pabli and we can use a webhook. I'm going to go for the moment with if that, than this, because then that opens the door to a whole new world of traffic possibilities. I'll show you those in a second. But again, we've got the same options just as before. So I've already walked you through all of these before and you can apply them again to this posting destination. Let me show you why I believe if that then this is a good solution to use with this software. Because if we go to the website, if that, then this, and search for RSS ground, look at all these integrations we have. So for example, we can automate posting from the software to Reddit. So we can choose a subreddit and then have this automatically post content to that subreddit. That's just one of the ways that we can drive traffic from Reddit. I know I talk about Reddit a lot. If you want me to go into a bit more detail about Reddit, tell me in the comments and I will create an in-depth tutorial for you to walk you through using Reddit for the first time. Okay, so we've got that as a traffic option. But if we go back and play around with this, we can we have literally dozens of ways to drive traffic using this software and using if that then this. Now that's great and all, but we've got an, an, possibly an even more powerful way to drive traffic because we can connect it up with Zapier and we can post that content to Slack, to Discord. We can send private messages if we want to. We can send content to Pocket. We've got all these options on Zapier as well. I'm going to allow you to explore these in your own time because the, the, the amount of traffic potential here is just insane. Okay, so now you have automated website clicks and website traffic. Go ahead and click the link in the description. Get that free series that I've got for you. It's the best traffic formula that I have ever created and you can get it for free. It's helped thousands of my students to create and launch successful internet businesses. Okay, thank you for being here with me today. Take care and God bless.